We've just derived the aggregate demand curve, the curve that tells us the relationship between the equilibrium level of GDP and the price level. Now we can ask, how does the actual price level in the economy emerge? And we'll begin with the long-run equilibrium price. Now there's an idea in macroeconomics called the natural level of GDP, and it's defined as real GDP when labor is fully employed. Now there are a lot of factors to determine what the natural level of GDP is. What kind of resources does your country have? What kind of relationships does it have with the rest of the world? What's the literacy rate? What's the political system like? What's the legal system like? And so on and so forth. But with all that in place, we can ask the question, if labor was fully employed, how much would this economy be able to produce? And that's the natural level of GDP. Now there's good reason to believe that in the long run, the economy will reach the natural level of GDP. Because in the long run, we're beyond the time period where a recession matters, where there's unemployment. So in the long run, we'll reach that natural level of GDP. That natural level of GDP can be measured somewhere on this axis. So suppose that it's here. In the long run, we'll reach that level of GDP. So in the long run, we can put a vertical line here. And we're going to call that the long run aggregate supply curve. In the long run, the economy is going to supply this much. It'll depend on various factors about the country. But in the long run, labor will be fully employed and the natural level of GDP will be produced. So now we just need to take the aggregate demand curve and put it in this picture. When we do that, we get an intersection. And at that intersection, we get the long run equilibrium price level. The price level that equilibrates the economy in the long run, that causes the long run equilibrium GDP to be equal to the natural level of GDP. Now, in class, we're also going to talk about the short run aggregate supply curve, but we'll leave that to we, till we get to class. In the meantime, you can think a little bit about what kinds of factors do you think determine the natural level of GDP? We've mentioned some of them. How do you think they affect natural level of GDP? And can you think of others?